Hello and a welcome to World Talks here on TVP World with me, Ashim Kumar. Seven people have tragically lost their lives and the damage amounts to billions of Polish zloty as a result of the catastrophic floods that recently struck Poland. In response, the Polish Parliament has begun work on a flood emergency bill aimed at addressing the crisis. The government's proposal includes several provisions designed to streamline and expedite efforts for residents and local authorities to recover from the devastation. This Thursday evening, Parliament is expected to establish a special committee dedicated to drafting laws focused on mitigating the impact of flooding. Joining me now are my guests, Alexandra Valkiewicz Sigowska, a lawyer, and Roman Shuremi, the mayor of Valbrich. So, welcome both of you, and I hope you'll excuse me for mispronouncing your names, but I did try. Thank you for taking the time. Um, Mr. Mayor, I'll start with you, if I may. Can you give us an idea? I mean, Valbrick is in the area that was hardest hit by the flooding. Can you give us an idea of the extent of the devastation um, that um, people in your, in your towns and cities in the region have suffered? Thank you very much for having me here. And uh, this question uh, really uh, should be uh, uh, should be uh, uh, submitted uh, more or less to those people of uh, so-called uh, uh, Kotsko Valley, which is the neighboring uh, area to Wałbrzych. By the way, Wałbrzych is uh, not very much uh, affected by the flood, but uh, in uh, not very remote areas, in, in terms of the distance from Wałbrzych, like 10, 15 or 25 kilometers are completely devastated. And uh, the flood, the scale of the flood and the catastrophic nature of the speed of the, uh, of the, of the, of the flood on the, uh, uh, the, the catastrophic uh, dynamics of, uh, of, this, uh, of this case of the flood uh, devastated uh, completely uh, 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 such uh, villages like Stronie Śląskie, Kłodzko, um, uh, and uh, Londek Zdruj. Actually, all those uh, villages and cities are located in mountain called Sudeti Mountain and uh, are considered to be one of the most beautiful uh, places in Poland. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people are uh, directly uh, affected by the flood. Uh, the, the flood made the, them uh, homelessness and uh, homeless. And uh, the scale of the of the damage we can uh, actually see on the on the picture is uh, overwhelming. So some of those areas are simply uh, uh, damaged completely. And mayors and local authorities uh, uh, have to uh, have to meet the challenges of really uh, essential uh, uh, essential needs and basic needs of the people, like uh, energy, uh, food, uh, sanitary equipment, uh, water. So the reaction of the of the people of Poland. Uh, in terms, not only in terms of the government reaction, which uh, was uh, uh, pretty fast and uh, very helpful, but reaction of the regular people uh, uh, of Poland communities uh, was was uh, wonderful, and the stream of uh, uh, basic uh, basic products uh, are going to to our region. Uh, Day by day, uh, uh, in uh, in the huge volume. So uh, we suffered such uh, such a devastating uh, uh, flood in 1997 uh, in a very comparable scale. However, we uh, we we managed to reduce the number of fatalities to. To a much smaller figure than uh, ten, 10 times smaller figure than 
at that time, and the damage, the scale of the damage in terms of material damage is much more reduced. However, uh, uh, that, that kind of money declared by the Polish government, which uh, could reach the 23 billions of zlotys, is probably uh, showing the scale of the need uh, uh, of, of the resources need to rebuild the life uh, of the people of uh, Lower Silesia, the region uh, I am located uh, as a mayor of the of the city of Wałbrzych. Understood. So Understood. I mean, we you know we've been following uh, the the whole tragic sequence of events uh, in the region caused by the flooding, and um, as you say, the response. Uh, both of local government and central government, as well as the people, has been uh, uh, highly impressive and effective. And it's, that's been wonderful to see. Now, um, clearly, Alexandra, if I, can, if I can ask you this, clearly lessons have been learned uh, since 1997. As you just heard the mayor say, the, you know, uh, fewer people died and, and the devastation was perhaps less extreme than in 1997. What do we expect uh, to have learned from this experience, which should then be reflected in the law being currently considered? I guess I think that we learned our lesson uh, since 1997, because we have to face the fact that we cannot prevent such disasters from happening. All we can do is our uh, very fast reaction, fast reaction by the solidarity of uh, people, communities, the government, and also fast reaction of law, of bills that are uh, introducing in the, when we face such a disaster. It is very important what the mayor said, that we Poles, are, uh, we have extraordinary um, skills to be solidarity, to be solidar and to, um, to help each other when facing such a disaster. But also the government, I guess after the flood in 1997, but also after the COVID and the pandemia, we have learned how to react with law, with bill. And this is what we are facing now, what we can observe now, because the government took very fast measures to help victims of the disaster. And first of all, the decision of uh, introducing the immediate aid of 10,000 zloty for each victim of the flood, it is first thing, but not all of this. No. Because uh, people who are um, who are um, victims of what has happened and whose houses or flats were destroyed in this catastrophe. Understood. Um, Underst understood, uh, Alexandra. Sorry, we, our time is limited. I'd just like you to please focus on what we expect to see in this in this bill um, and and how those lessons that you mention. Um, have been learned and will be embedded in, in this bill. What, what do you expect to see? So uh, this is the fast reaction. So for the people who has to pay, for example, the mortgage, uh, uh, the mortgage loan uh, installments, the government proposed that will pay 12 months of this installment for the people who are victims and whose houses were destroyed by the flood. Also, other people who are um, uh, paying other loans, not mortgage loans, can count on post postponing the date of the, um, of the payment of the installments. Also, the taxes, taxes that are due to the government, PIT, CIT, VAT, uh, all the taxes that are due in this year for September, uh, October, November, December will be uh, the um, um, the date of payment will be postponed to 2025. Also, we can count on um, uh, 
postponement of payment, date of payment of social security contribution. So um, we don't have to pay it now. If we have uh, to pay all this contribution, September, October, December, November, we uh, can pay it uh, the year that is coming. So 2025. Also, each person uh, whose house or flats were affected by the flood get the claim up to 100,000 or even 200,000 zlotych for reconstruction. It is a very big amount of help that uh, people can count on. So uh, all this, um, uh, all, all this uh, um, uh, help, all this aid, uh, it is supposed to help the victims to um, reorganize lives, reorganize businesses, we, um, to um, uh, to back um, uh, to go back to what uh, was before the disaster. Understood. So this is what I'm. Understood. Thank you, Alexandra, for, for laying that out for us. Uh, now, Mr. Mayor, uh, you've heard Alexandra explain very eloquently what we expect to see in the bill. Um, how would you characterise the relationship between local and central government? What, what's it been like thus far? Um, and how do you expect or what areas do you think could be improved in that relationship to get help to people who need it most on the ground? Well, the, uh, the relationship between the central government, the local governments, uh, uh, are um, uh, uh, improved uh, significantly after the general election in October 15, which is pretty obvious to everyone who is observing the political life in, in Poland. Uh, this government is not that much centralized in all the uh, political, social, and economic life in Poland, like uh, the the previous government. So the relationship are, are are much better, and cooperation in terms of uh, dealing with this catastrophic flood uh, uh, is I I I, I, ask, I I judge it as a as a very good. Uh, but it's always there is always a a, a a space for for improvement. There is always a space of faster. Reaction on behalf of uh, of uh, local uh, local authorities and uh, central uh, central agencies. However, I would like to emphasize that, uh, which is very extraordinary measure taken Understood. by the Understood. Understood. But as you say, yes, so there's always room for improvement. And in the last few seconds that we have left, Alexandra, if I can come to you, um, Mr. Marcin Kierwinski, former Minister of the Interior has been appointed uh, plenipotentiary for flood reconstruction. What do you expect his, his powers to be? Very briefly, please. Um, the, um, it's, it's not so easy, but uh, he will have very far-going uh, uh, powers. He can uh, also introduce, because of this, what we are stating now, it is state of natural disaster. So it is far-reaching powers that he could have. He can give the order of evacuation, prohibition to stay in the given places for the people. Also, all to ensure safety and to remove the effect of the disaster. Excellent. Well, thank you very much both for joining us today. That was um, very enlightening and, and sharing your analysis situation with our audience. Have a good afternoon. Thank you very thank much. You. Thank you. Thank you. And that's thank all you. from us on this episode of World Talks. Don't go away. Lots more coming up. Goodbye for now.